Here we are at Bristol's Colston Hall and we are going to go on the road with Black Label Society and Zach Wilde. Alright, uh, what's going on? Zach Wilde, Black Label Society. Uh, checking out all the gear and stuff like that. We're out here on the road right now on the Berserkers over here over Europe. Uh, these are these are actually the prototypes of the new marshals that we're going to be coming out with new Zach Wild Black Label Marshal or whatever. The steel curtain, apparently, obviously, as you can see. So uh, what is it? An 800 right now. So it's in development stage because we're talking about putting some other goodies either here or on the back of the amp. Right. But what is it? It's just going to be a ball to the wall. Jason 800, 2203, 100 watt top, right. and uh, with the 6550s and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. uh, but you know, obviously. No, I'm getting. In, I'm also going to be designing some tubes, some new tubes. So obviously, if you like different, obviously, different players like different, different things. So you know, sure. what I, mean? So, I mean, me preferably, I, I like the 6550s mm -hmm. as far as tubes. But you know, obviously, you got the KT88s, yeah. the EL34s. You know, sort of uh, guys like different things. But uh, that's just suggested that thing. Obviously, 200 watt EV speakers in there right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is what we're using with the live rig right now. Obviously, the other stuff we're using, I got my, uh, obviously, the JCM 800s. You know, these are some of my old guys. Mm -hmm. Obviously, my signature head when we started making these guys. So we're using, you know, I use a combination of two because Nick goes out of the same, me and Nick both go out of the same rig. Right. So, uh, you know, so it's in quad. It's not mm -hmm. even in stereo, <laughs> you know. Because uh, I'll go out of two heads, Nick goes out of two heads. Right. So uh, that's about it. So we have, basically we got four live cabinets running. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So uh, obviously if some, one of the cabs goes down, you just switch it over to another cabinet. Sure. But it's just, you know, Nick's going out of two heads, two cabs, mm -hmm. everything's in stereo, thanks to me. And uh, same thing with me, two heads, two, you know, a head for each cab. Sure. And that's about it. So uh, obviously as I'd go out of four, maybe four cabs, you know, two heads. And, and, you know, because there's only two output jacks, you know. Yeah. So I'd go out of two heads, but I'd always split them. You know, it's like one left head, right head, left head, right head. Mm -hmm. you know? So everything, so you just get that wide, you know, especially when you hit the chorus pedal on. Yeah. Everything just gets super wide. Mm hmm Aside of it already being wide from going through the pedal. But uh, obviously the chorus pedals, me and Nick, uh, these were the, our Dunlop family over there. Mm -hmm. You know, I got signature pedals, obviously, the distortion and... Uh, we're talking about doing a phase right now, but I got the Eddie phase, the Eddie yeah. Flanger, mm -hmm. the Crazy Horse, and then this for solos, yeah. for certain solos I do. But uh, obviously we got the flange up here. We only use it once throughout the night, so for uh, Crazy Horse. Sure. So uh, what'll what'll happen? Moby will be back here. He'll he'll do it from back here. Right. So uh, but the choruses are on all the time, so there's no need to have them out front mm -hmm. because you know it's just it's in the way. Yeah. So I'll you know, take you to the stuff that I use when I'm out there. Though. You know, this is my pedal board out here up front. So uh, obviously, I got the carbon copy. This is a delay. Yeah. I mean, if I sometimes, I mean, I mostly if I want to use it, uh, the settings that I have it at right there are for uh, like Randy Rhodes' live guitar solo is on a company solo sure. on a tribute record. Mm -hmm. but Randy at the end, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's you know, and Randy will have it on. You know, it's, I mean, he has the uh, Echo Plex, mm. but I mean. Uh, that's the only set. That's the setting that I have it sure. with that. I mean, put it this way: I could be playing fast, and it's not going to muddle mm -hmm. any of the uh, any of the playing. Yeah. It won't stomp on it. It's just basically it'll just add to sustain or whatever. But mm -hmm. like I said, it's that the delay is basically yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, obviously, I got my distortion out here. Uh, we got one in the back as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, Moby has my distortion. He has the the uh, Eddie phase. Yeah. He also has. Uh, um, and he has the, the flanger back there. But this way I could turn, uh, mostly when, I, when I'm playing clean, mm. I, uh, I just turn the distortion off and I lower my volume. That's right. my clean tone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but if I'm gonna move around like doing my unaccompanied solo, when I play over here, you know, I turn the phase off over here. So if I want it, Moby can turn it on from either side mm -hmm. for me. Right. So if I want it over, over there, Moby will just turn it on from back there. Right. I want to go over and then he can just turn it off. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, but you know, and obviously I got my wah, and then the rotor vibe for that yeah. Robin Trower, Jimi Hendrix stuff. Yeah, sure. So, uh, yeah, but that's this is as simple as I keep it. I mean, there's no massive, gigantic rig or anything like that. No. I mean, I could have had the same setup when I was 15 years old. You know what I mean? But just always remember that, kids. Less is more. You know. <laughs> I mean, if you like trying different pedals and different sounds, they're all out there for you. But I mean, uh, I just try to keep it as simple as possible. And obviously, I use Monster Cable, mm -hmm. and uh, you know everything. Everything I endorse, I use. So I mean, right. it's just Monster Cable, 
obviously all my Dunlop pedals, mm -hmm. Jimmy and the guys and Scott and everything, and then uh, my Marshall amps and then uh, Gibson and Epiphone. Sure. That's it. And EV speakers, you know. Sure. All right. Well, obviously, uh, on this one, I brought out four of my Pauls on this one. So, obviously, all Zach Wild model amps, I mean, uh, model guitars. So, uh, you know, just a Les Paul custom with the EVs, I mean, uh, with the EMG speaker uh, pickups in there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with the shave back, you know, with the maple neck, ebony fretboard. And then what I'll do is I'll either, I, I really like 6,000 fret wire. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it's got it, it's thick and it's high. So uh, you can get a really good grip on those things. So, uh, but each one of the guitars is loaded. I mean, they all have their own little things, just like every other guitar, but I mean, they have their own characteristics, but they're all, put it this way, it all sounds like I'm in the same zip code when I play every one of the guitars, you know right. what I mean? So, uh, got that guy right there. We got, you know, balls, the original balls. And then we got this one here, blue balls, right? You know, it's like the poem blue. And uh, <clears throat> our buddy Tom McCoots gave me this one. Yeah. Uh, you know, Scully guitar. Mm -hmm. So Lanza, we just, uh, just recently the guys gave me this one over because of the vertigo. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, they're all loaded with the with the EMGs and the whole nine yards. So, mm -hmm. like I said, shaved back in the neck and 6,000 foot wire. And uh, this is all Nick's will give you all his report on this ball is Paul and Smiths and everything. And here's some more of the, uh, like Gibson's and the Epiphones, obviously the double necks. Uh, this one I got stock loaded up with the EMGs, the mirror, yep. double neck, and this one, obviously the uh, white, he's, he's still got the, uh, I, ke I kept the original pickups in this one, so uh, they both got different different types down to them. Obviously these are uh, my ZVs, these are uh, obviously you know, the SG and the V kind of combination, oh. but uh, same thing with these guys, shaved, you know, yeah. the maple neck, ebony fret mode, mm -hmm. you know, 6,000 fret wire. Or some of them, actually, I, I keep them stocked with what Gibson actually sends me, the fret wire. Right. I mean, but I do like them big. But, I mean, not, not everybody likes that, you know. Sure. Well, we got these guys. And, uh, obviously, also, my flying Vs. I bring these suckers out with the Floyd Rose, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, but, uh, no, same thing with these. It was just basically flying V, Gibson flying V custom. Sure. You know, so the ebony fretboard, you know, maple neck and everything like that, so. And then, uh, last but not least, obviously the, uh, saw these in the pictures, these are the uh, Graveyard Disciples. Mm -hmm. So, the little Gumby Zach up there. <laughs> so, that's why I remember who I am. You know, because sometimes I, I forget, you know. So, and then I, that's the reason why I wear all this black label stuff, so I remember what band I'm in as well. If anyone asks me if I forget. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, same thing with this. I mean, it's pretty much like an SG. I mm -hmm. mean, body-wise, so it's, uh, it's all mahogany, just like a, how an SG is. So, uh, But neck-wise, same thing. Um, you know, either rosewood or ebony fretboard, maple back of the neck. And, you know, same thing, my EMGs and Floyd Rose. Cool. That's about it. And... Uh, I prescribe you take two of these in the morning and uh, give me a call. Well, there you go. <laughs>